this is David Sig with OffGridLiving.com. Okay, the most important thing to take away from this lesson is, sooner or later, you'll have to replace your hot water heater. Understanding this energy decision now can result in huge energy savings in the future. You may also want to consider replacing your current hot water heater, as they are getting more energy efficient every year. This lesson is about saving money now. So with the money saved, you can invest in a more energy efficient method of heating hot water. Let's start with an overview of hot water heaters and the different systems available. You use hot water for a number of different things during the course of the day. Understanding where your hot water is going is the first step in preparing a system to handle the job. First, it's helpful to understand how your hot water is being used. As you can see, washing clothes, bathing, and washing dishes are your biggest hot water expenses. So today, if you want to cut your hot water bill by 50%, all you have to do is wash clothes in cold water, if possible, always shower instead of drawing a bath, and wash dishes by hand. So what I did was I put the money I was saving, $50 a month in my case, into buying a more efficient hot water system. So to start, in designing your hot water system, you need to take into account the lowest price storage water heater may be the most expensive to operate and maintain over its lifetime or in the long run. While an oversized unit may be alluring, it carries a higher purchase price and increased energy costs due to the higher standby energy losses. To properly size a storage water heater for your home, use the water heater's first hour rating, or FHR. The first hour rating is the amount of hot water in gallons the heater can supply per hour, starting with a tank full of hot water. It depends on the tank's capacity, source of heat, and the size of the burner or element. Now, do the following to estimate your peak hour demand. Determine what time of day, morning, noon, or evening, you use the most hot water in your home. Keep in mind the number of people living in your home. Use the worksheet in the PDF to estimate your maximum usage of hot water during this one hour of day. This is your peak hour demand. There's also a worksheet in the PDF handout that will help you do this. For our purposes, there are two types of hot water systems to consider. A conventional storage hot water heater and a tankless or demand water heater. Conventional storage water heaters remain the most popular type of water heating for your home. They work by drawing cold water into the tank at the bottom, heating it, then releasing it through the top of the tank into the piping that leads to your faucets. Tankless water heaters provide hot water only as it is needed. They don't produce the standby energy losses associated with storage water heaters, which can save you money. When a hot water tap is turned on, cold water travels through the pipe into the unit. Either a gas burner or an electric element heats the water. As a result, demand water heaters deliver a constant supply of hot water. You can also install separate demand water heaters for appliances, such as clothes washers, dishwashers, or at your sink, that use a lot of hot water in your home. Demand hot water heaters can be 25 to 34 percent more efficient than conventional storage tank water heaters. They can also be 8 to 14 percent more energy efficient for homes that use a lot of hot water, that is around 86 gallons per day. You can achieve even greater energy savings of 27 to 50 percent if you install a demand hot water at each hot water outlet. In my own home, I use tankless water heaters stationed under sinks, at the shower, and at the washing machine. My house was built 
fairly recently and electrical outlets were already installed under the sinks, so I put them to good use. But I typically save at least $100 per month in hot water costs, which means the tankless water heaters paid for themselves in under a year. I'll see you in the next video.